ഈ വർഷ മലയാള സിനിമ കൊണ്ട പോകും There isn't something that makes me more happy than seeing a film industry thrive especially when it attempts a variety of genres and it also receives the love from the audience for the risk taken. 2024 has really been special for the Malayalam film industry and the year has not even completed 2 months. Other than the Jairam star Abraham Osler which became a super hit in theaters primarily due to a favorable word of mouth, a movie that I could not see due to the saturation of releases in the same weekend, I am desperately waiting for its digital release and Malai Kota Valiban a high concept experiment by Lee Jojo's Pillisery with Mohan Lal that i believe tried just too many themes in its narrative other than these two films i really wanted to talk about the experiments executed by the film industry that i was witness to and why this year seems to be so special for cinema enthusiasts that love movies coming out of kerala imagine a horror film almost being an extension of the tale of bam stroker's count dracula and it gets celebrated nothing less than a mass film on the big screen you've got a legend like mamuti fully immersing himself in a role physically and taking the shape of a despicable unhinged monster that does not allow those that pass by this ominous dwelling to leave It turned out to become such a delicious concoction of themes relevant to modern society yet became a time machine to an eerie atmosphere set in the 17th century a film made on a 27 crore budget doing close to 50 crores in its revenue it's absolutely immaculate in each frame another reason why i love the movies produced in kerala and the success stories that we get to talk about even when the box office revenues don't touch the 100 crore mark as most of these films are carefully and efficiently budgeted allowing for the storytelling to thrive versus being just projects mounted with stars Brahmyogam was such a memorable experience on the big screen especially for horror fans who anyway crave compelling stories in a genre that i find creators are hesitant to explore while having such a loyal and thriving fan base in india what is remarkable regarding the weekend in which brahmyogam released is that malayalam cinema had to offer what can be considered the antithesis of mood and genre to the horror film premalu directed by girish ad releasing on the same weekend as brahmyogam is essentially termed as the babanheimer clash of malayalam cinema in 2024 as both movies have gone on to have successful runs at the box office premalu which i caught this weekend was such a delightful watch a young love story at the surface level but a movie that is self aware about the tropes of the romantic comedy genre and acts as a commentary on those same regressive themes naslin playing the role of sachin wants an escape from his bickering household the mundanity in his life is also reflective of his man child behavior having aspirations to go to the uk following his friend to hyderabad to train for the gate exam is absolutely incidental he stumbles across reenu played by mamita baiju and is head over heels for her reenu is such a refreshing change to the usual type of female leads we get to see in romantic films she does not have an overtly bubbly personality nor is her sole purpose to steer a hopeless lead in the right direction she is confident has clarity about her personal and professional goals and most of her dynamic with sachin presents organic conversations rather than the flary generic love letters morphed as character interactions that we clearly dismiss as not being possible in real life I absolutely fell in love with these actors Naslin and Mamita especially How often do you see young love stories actually being played by young actors for feature films What's hilarious is that when we usually see young adult romances or characters straight out of college it usually presents actors in their 30s or 40s playing those roles What I find especially engaging about Premalu is its take on themes such as stalking and the prototype male feminist that is presented with the character of Adi played by Shyam Mohan Premalu genuinely presents is one of the most light-hearted yet no one stakes on this dynamic not being frivolous in any way naslin is self-critical but never melodramatic he is the quintessential example of a boy who would love the attention and sympathy for his circumstances but the movie never dives deep to become a soap opera or sob story about his origin story neither does mamita bear the brunt of becoming a savior adi is literally the guy you go on your first date with who says all the right things that project himself to be the most progressive and egalitarian human to exist only for the chinks in the armor to get exposed and the condescending sexism is in full display masked as a casual just kidding to soften the blow the breezy music presented by vishnu vijay and the refreshing change for a malayalam story not to be set in bangalore but actually transporting us to hyderabad made premalu heartfelt hilarious and really deserving of all the love
This was not it, however, as I saw Manju Mel boys on the same day, and my God, did I fall in love with the strides taken by the creators in exploring this survival story. The movie focuses on a group of friends who go on a trip together to Kodai Canal, an ode to Kamal Hassan's Guna. The boys find themselves in a horrible predicament as one of their friends falls in a pit in a prohibited area of the Guna Caves. How the group bands together to rescue the friend while experiencing several roadblocks forms the basic premise of Manju Mel boys. Can I just? say from the onset how much i love sushin sham a music producer i am so desperate gets utilized in hindi cinema and this is something that i have been saying since kumbhalagi nights sushin has the ability to set the mood from the first frame as the group of misfits get introduced at a wedding and are creating an absolute ruckus you immediately vibe to the score and theme knowing very well when this group is at a public event shit's going to hit the fan the comedy is immediately reflective of every boy group chat and the decision to go on a trip that never materializes from goa to varkala to kodai canal the boys finally decide to get mashed up in a qualis and partake in two days of debauchery i was thinking about the movies that are presumably light and fun and take a dark turn and manjumal boys is right up there as it takes a sharp turn towards the dark and ominous as one of the friends finds himself in a deep pit that is termed as the devil's kitchen a pit that almost takes the shape of voldemort amongst the locals almost fearful of mentioning it for the number of deaths and failures they have seen in rescue mission The film has the ability to really increase your anxiety as the friends never accept the possibility of their friend dying. The circumstances of how each personality reacts to the dreaded event is also very interesting. While some characters find themselves frozen, others take active physical parts in finding solutions despite meeting mostly incompetent individuals in positions of power like police officers and the forest officials. There is a brilliant screenplay decision made by director Chitambaram where he integrates the childhood personalities of the group to their circumstances of today the horrifying nature in which the abandon of youth transitions to the ominous cave almost taking the shape of hell where one cannot return is masterful just like malayan kunja i could see the level of effort and detailing by art director ajayan for this film not for even in the slightest feel like it's not in a real location you actually feel as helpless as the characters really foreshadowing that death is inevitable the movie beautifully shapes up to become a story of not only survival but boundless friendship really hitting a home run with its final act making it another addition to the beautiful year that malayalam cinema is having i hope the strides continue in pursuing stories over box office revenue because the excellence in storytelling often leads to the by product being that the audiences embraces such films i am genuinely so excited to see what lies ahead and that was a video guys Write down in the comments below what you thought about movies like Brahm Yugam, Prem Alu, and Manju Mil Boys. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at Jammy Pants Four. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.